Good morning from Actau. I've actually got a really long journey ahead of me today. I know I've just done five days getting to Kazakhstan, but Kazakhstan's such a big country, so my next stop is 35 hours away on the train. But I think it's going to be really interesting. I haven't taken a sleeper train in years, and this is going to be like a post-Soviet train adventure. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it, to be honest. I'm prepared. I'm ready. It's super early right now. It's like 7.20 a.m. and my train's at 10. But I'm trying to be organised. I don't want any disasters today. So I'm going to leave at 8. So yeah, looking forward to this. I'm going to try and document as much as possible. Let's do it. I decided to go for the bottom bunk. I have no idea whether that was a good idea or not, but I'll find out, I guess. Anyway, I'm actually super early. It doesn't leave for another hour, but at least I've made it. And it looks like there's a restaurant car as well, so that's good. So I was in the room and an old lady and a woman and a baby came in and I was like, oh no. <laughs> baby's very cute but I don't really want to be stuck with it for like 35 hours but then a woman asked me to swap places so now I'm in a different carriage and I've got top bunk but there's a bloke in there it looks like he's unloading the electronics into my bed so I have to come outside again well I'm in but it's taken all the space so I've got all my bags <sighs> gonna be sleeping well there is a little gap maybe I can put some in there luckily I am quite a small person so if push came to shove, I'd probably be alright. And I got some bread from the little shop. We're moving. Very slowly, but we're moving. Well, it looks like it's just me and this dude in this wagon for now, so... Let's see how long that lasts. So here's what I was given. Some bed sheets. A coffee cup. A toothbrush, a shoehorn, some wipes, a comb, and some soap. Well, my roommate is very chatty. He's shown me loads of stuff on his phone. It seems nice. He was actually pretty funny. He reminded me of an Uzbek version of Del Boy, and he sent me this picture of us that he took. The next few hours were spent gazing out at the Kazakh landscape. It was exactly how I imagined it to be honest, and I even saw loads of camels. I've just spilled coke all over myself, just like I've peed myself. My roommate is walking around with this tray of jewellery that he's selling and he's just given me a ring. Maybe I should put it on the other hand so people think I'm married. It's like 2pm and we've stopped in the middle of the desert. I just had a bit of a nap as well, it was super nice. My roommate is absolutely hilarious. He's now trying to sell massagers and karaoke machines. Okay, toilet tour. Smells so bad in here. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like it all works. And there's even some paper. Not bad. I guess for the next train I take, I'll be bringing a peg for my nose because that's horrible. Apart from that, the train is pretty like well equipped to be honest. Like every carriage has one person looking after it called the Provodnik. Provodnik. So. And ours is really nice. Seems like a nice dude. You can see like a dust devil tornado. I'm gonna make some noodles or some mashed potato.
chicken flavour mashed potato. What can he do? All I've got is hot water. <laughs> I've got a bag of other stuff with me as well, just like snacks and stuff. But there is the restaurant card. Maybe we'll check that out later. Just open this coffee cup to make a coffee and there's a load of stuff inside. Oh, tea, a sweet tea. Milk, coffee, stirring stick. I actually bought my own coffee though. Sometime later, we pulled into a station where we stopped for about 45 minutes. So I took the opportunity to get off the train and get some fresh air. It's 6 p.m. now and we stopped again. I just bought a Samsa, but I'll eat it in the train. At the last station, my carriage filled up with men and my Uzbek Dell boyfriend totally vanished. I decided to take a break from the snoring men in my carriage by checking out the restaurant car. I got myself a beer and the lady gave me a curly straw for it for some reason and Uzbek Delboy reappeared and he kept me company for a bit. And here's me bracing myself to go back to the room of snorers, which you'll hear in just a moment. First stop of the day, I'm hiding because I look horrible. Did not sleep well. That bed is so uncomfortable. It was really, my back is hurting so bad. But yeah, it's good to get outside and stretch the legs a little bit. I'm trying to get off like every time we stop. Yeah, it's nice to get some bed there. The snoring men got off and were replaced by some friendly babushkas and their tea set. I had another nap and when I woke up we were stopped in the town close to the Baikonur Cosmodrome which is somewhere high on my bucket list. We won't be seeing any spaceships take off today though. I bought this mystery food item in the shop. I have no idea what it's called, but it was like a stuffed steamed bun. We've stopped again, but I don't know why. So I've just come to try and get a very tiny bit of fresh air. Several more hours were spent reading my book and playing games, and eventually I arrived at my destination, Turkestan. It was a massive relief, to be honest, just to arrive and I got straight into a taxi to my guest house. So I hope you found this monster journey somewhat entertaining at least. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video where we will start to explore Turkestan. Mm -hmm.